Hello, welcome back to another video tutorial here at Geek and Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. Since our last tutorial, I went ahead and created a few materials and assigned them to some of the various components of this just to make it easier to identify the various pieces of it. And last time we finished up, we created these upper floors of this building. And I want to take a few minutes now and ungroup this. so that uh, things don't start getting uh, confusing. So I'll select my glass pieces here. Weld that together. Assign a material to that. Set material. And my window frames. There we are. Okay, I'm going to now create a cube and place this a little bit closer to the uh to the wall. I want to make it I want to make it size 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. And I'm just going to use my snap align tool and pop pop this into place. Snap there and snap on the back of my building. And I'll come up here to select edges, select those edges, snap that back corner, snap the top there. Now the reason why I chose select edges instead of select points is just to demonstrate that both work equally well. And uh, I'll just give this a temporary name. Control D to duplicate it because I want to put one over here on this side as well. And we'll snap this into place. Let's select that one. Control D to duplicate that. And we'll s snap this one next to its, uh, its mate. Come over here, control D, duplicate that, snap here, and snap over here. Okay. Now what I want to do is select all of these building pieces, and I'll group that together. Control D to duplicate that group. And I will rotate it 45 degrees by holding down my shift button. And let me zoom in here. I want to snap this into place. There we are. I think I will select those two temporary pieces. Control D to duplicate them. And let's... Rotate them and snap them into place. There we are. Okay, we've got another group to copy. Hold down shift, rotate that 45 degrees. Snap there, snap there. And I'll select this back one here. Control D, duplicate that. Rotate it 180. And I will go ahead and snap that into place. And there we are. Now, these two pieces right here I need to duplicate and slide into place over here. Let's give them a little bit of a rotation. Zoom in. And let's snap these into their proper place. 
Okay, let's back out and have a look at our progress so far. I'd say I'm pretty happy with that. Everything is absolutely accurate as far as its uh, size and its alignment. Everything's looking good. I think I'm going to take these and start um, welding them together. I'll call them oh, building edges. Now I need to group all of these, uh, undo all of these groups and uh, I want to weld all these pieces together. So just like I did with the other pieces that I grouped and welded, I'm going to do the same thing with these pieces and I'm going to do it off camera just to save time and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm done organizing this. I'm going to come and select my walls. Actually, I need to put a color on them. Select the walls and these horizontal pillars. Control D to duplicate them. Rotate that 180 degrees because this is going to be the top of our building here. And we will snap this. Whoops. I did not want to do that. And we will snap that into place right there. Okay, these these pillars, there they are. We need to stretch them up so that they reach the top of our that last floor we created. So let's just drag a selection around them. Make sure we get all of those points. And let's re-enable the view of everything. Hide these horizontal ones. Okay. Let's snap there and snap right there. And now those things reach the top where they're supposed to. And these building edges. We're going to have to do the same thing with them. So we got select edges enabled. Select those, spin around, select those, select those, and select those. Snap align tool, snap there, snap there, and there we are. That was pretty easy. And let's enable the horizontal pillars. And I think at this juncture, I'm going to save my progress. So now we have our building completely finished. Now we need to add um, a, an entrance, a entry step, and we need to add some details for the roof. But I'm going to stop here. This is the end of this portion of this modeling tutorial. Thanks for watching here at Geek at Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. Have a good day.